First of all, you have to have a vaginal examination and usually a cook balloon is inserted into the vagina. After 12 to 24 hours, the balloon is removed and you are re-examined. Following the balloon, it is very unusual not to be able to break your waters. If we are unable to insert a cook balloon, then you will have a propest pessary inserted into the vagina for 24 hours. If your cervix is unfavourable after a propest pessary, then we might recommend a prostin gel. When there is space and an available midwife, you will have your waters broken on either the induction suite or delivery suite. We recommend at least 30 minutes or CTG trace before and after having your waters broken to ensure your baby's well-being. If contractions do not start, or if they do but there has been no change in your cervix, you will be offered the hormone drip. The hormone drip can only be given on delivery suite. It can take a variable time after starting the hormone drip for the contractions to become effective. We normally suggest waiting three to four hours after regular strong contractions before doing another vaginal examination. As you can see from the above, induction of labour can take a number of days. The length of time taken for active labour to be established is very variable, but tends to be longer if you haven't had babies in the past or are less than 39 weeks. We would advise you to bring books, iPad, Kindle, games or anything to keep you occupied. Once you've been admitted to hospital for your induction, you normally stay until after your baby is born. Induction of labour can be a difficult process to get your head around. Please bear in mind that every maternity unit does it slightly differently.